Hello everyone and welcome to almost at the end of the year 2022. I'm really excited to be making this video and sharing my plans for 2023 with you. I also want to take this opportunity to answer some of the questions that I've received from the YouTube comments on my videos, my DMs and the replies to my tweet. As you know, in 2022, just like in 2021, we focused mainly on the Learn PHP the Right Way series, which is finally coming to an end very soon. Since starting the Learn PHP the Right Way series, the channel has grown from a few hundred to almost 25,000 subscribers. And because of that, I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for your support and for following along. Now on to the plans for 2023. First, of course, we need to finish the Learn PHP the Right Way series. We're currently working on the final project called Xpennies and there are still a few things that we need to do in order to complete it. Once the PHP series is complete, I plan to transition into creating more content on Laravel and other topics related to software engineering in general. I won't be making another series as long as the PHP series for now because it has taken up a lot of my time and energy and given my limited free time, I don't want another series to take over two years to finish as well. That being said though, the tutorials that I'll be creating will still be just as focused and in depth as the PHP series. Now one of the most common questions that I've gotten is, will there be a Learn Laravel the Right Way series? The answer is yes, there will be. I don't have any further details on exactly when we're going to start on it or what it will contain or in what format it's going to be, but I can assure you that the Learn Laravel the Right Way series will be there and it will be just as detailed and comprehensive as our PHP series. It may just not be as long as the PHP series. So stay tuned for more information on that in 2023. So let's continue with the questions. The next question is, are you going to continue creating the PHP tutorials for free and update them regularly, or do you plan to move to some subscription-based tutorials like others? I don't currently have any plans to have subscription-gated tutorials or paid courses. At some point, I might have some paid courses in addition to the free tutorials, but for now, that's not the plan. Of course, if you find my tutorials helpful and want to support me and my channel, there are other ways you can do that, such as by subscribing to my channel, watching my videos in full, sharing my videos with others, engaging with videos by smashing that like button and by leaving comments. All of those really help the channel out and really help me out in the long run. Do you have any plans to branch out into other programming languages or frameworks in the future? I don't have any concrete plans to do that at the moment, but I'm always open to exploring new technologies and learning new things. If there is a particular language or framework that you think I should cover, or if you have any other ideas for future content, please let me know and I'll take it into consideration. Do you have any advice for people who are just starting out with PHP or Laravel, or who are interested in getting into software development in general? My general advice would be to start small and take it one step at a time. Don't try to tackle and learn everything at once. You can get overwhelmed very fast and get demotivated to do any work at all. That's why it's important in my opinion to set small achievable goals and make sure to celebrate it when you achieve every single goal. Also, don't be afraid to ask for help or seek out additional resources if you're stuck. There is absolutely nothing wrong with asking questions and asking for help. I get stuck on problems all the time, I forget how to do simple things from time to time, so don't be afraid to ask, you're not alone. And most importantly, don't give up. Learning a new skill takes time and effort, so stay persistent and keep practicing and you'll be surprised at what you can accomplish. Even an hour a day goes a long way. Second to last question, how do you learn? I mostly learn by reading articles and watching tutorials, but instead of just consuming information passively, I also try to do some active learning by applying what I've learned through practice. That's usually what makes it stick. 
Another thing that I do is when something doesn't make sense in code, I try to dig into the source code. So if it's a framework like Laravel and I'm calling some kind of method and I don't understand how it works, I try to go to the source of that method and find out what it actually does. That usually helps me learn new things and understand how things work in general. And the last question, on what level can I start using framework to build a project? So that really depends on what you currently know and what framework you want to use. For example, Laravel has a short learning curve and is easier to get started with, while Symfony on the other hand has a steeper learning curve. I would say you need to at least know the basics of PHP and object-oriented programming before you can start with the framework. I think knowing vanilla PHP is very important and it makes learning frameworks and transitioning from uh, one framework to another much easier. You should not be tied to one framework. That's why when you learn uh, vanilla PHP, you're able to pick up the frameworks much faster. The best way to know whether you're ready for framework or not is by working on a project. So maybe pick a project that you want to work on and get to work. And I think this is it. That's all the questions that I could answer in this video. If you have any further or other questions, please feel free to post them down below in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching and thank you again for all of your support. I hope that you have a happy holiday season and I'll see you in the beginning of 2023.